flexing with these bullet punch lines. Oh, Koa goes fast, nigga, when it's crunch time. What it is, what it do, folks. It is your boy, the Mikey J, in the mother of a place to be. And uh, like as promised, we are back. And uh, on the screen, you guys can actually see that. Let me adjust my mic real quick. That we are in Sony Vegas, and we are um, about to do a basic, just a basic tutorial on how to um, edit your videos. Start editing. Um, unfortunately, I can only give you guys the website to to download the trial version of uh, Sony Vegas. I'm using Sony Vegas 13 and um it is like uh you know you you guys can can look around to see where you can um you know that if you get what i'm saying but anyway um this right here is a new composition um where as a matter of fact we will start out with a um making um a new video making a new video to edit so we're gonna go up to file. We're gonna go to new. File new. This this screen's gonna pop up, and um, now YouTube. I believe it, I'm I'm not sure if it's for partners only, or everybody's gonna get it. But soon YouTube will um, be able to accept 60 frames per second videos. But as for right now, we are only going to make this one for this project. 30 frames so how you can tell that is under frame rate this box will drop down and you can um, you can go 29.970 it's 30 frames a second pretty much um, and honestly you really don't need to touch anything else um, and you can hit ok so now um, what you want to do um, say you have a video that was um, recorded in uh, OBS and so you go to your, you go to file, we're going to click file, and we're going, what do I do? I do that every time. We're going to file, we're going to go to import, and then we go to media. Import media. And then we go to the folder. Let me see. Mine is on E. Oh, no, it's on D. Go to your folder wherever your videos are recorded. And, um... I am actually just going to open up this little showdown battle. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so now that is going to show up in your project media folder right there where you just seen that light up. So this is your project media folder. So let's say um, you also have an intro. We're going to put our intro in it as well. So we're going to import. Uh, let's find my intro. I wonder where that is. I think it's on my desktop somewhere. Uh, it's in the spot lock folder, I believe. Yep, new intro. All right, so find your intro, and then we've got um, the actual footage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click it, and I'm gonna drag it down to the timeline. Um, do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? Most of the time, you're going to say no because you've already set up your project settings and you want it to stay at that 720, um, 30 frames per second. So hit no, so it'll stay at 720 and all that kind of stuff. Um, right now, now, as you can see, there are two little rows that just popped up. So this right here is what's called um, your video track and then you have an audio track. So this is where you edit your video and your audio. Um, this is pretty basic. Um, I'm basically going to show you how to do two things today. One is render, um, and two is a transition. How you see how, how, how my screens fade in and out and stuff like that. That's what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do today. I forgot, I totally forgot to tell you what we were gonna learn. But anyway, this is just a basic tutorial. So it's, it's nothing major, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm also, uh, you can either put it on a different track or you can put it on the same track. I usually put them on different tracks and I will show you guys how to do that. Um, so with your actual video file, uh, drag it and I will drop it down to, you see how, um, the, the track that you, that you've got in your hand is it's kind of highlighted I'm not sure if it's real able to see uh, real easy to see on the video but 
you can drop it below those two tracks and then another set of tracks will fall below now when i was recording this in obs um this as you guys can see on the video screen that the um i had to resize in mid video so what i do to cut that out is i'll play it um space bar is your friend in um Sony Vegas, hit the play button, and then, yep, see I'm resizing and I hit S. Now, what S does, just plain old S, not anything else, um, if you hit S, it will chop the video right there at that point. So, that will make it able to slide apart from that. So, and what I do, I can click on the part that I don't need and hit delete. So, and that's gone. So what I'm gonna do, and sometimes, and most of the time, if your um, Sony Vegas is set up uh, just default, you'll slide it to the left, and you'll see that blue line, that the blue dotted line, and that means it is um, pretty much synced um, where your other clip ends, and that's when this new clip begins. So, all right, so let's 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 roll that beautiful bean footage. Man, I stay with these bullet punch lines, oh, go, go, stash, nigga, when it's crunch time. And then that pops in. Now, do you see how that just immediately popped in? So, oh, and one more thing, one more thing. All of your videos, this is my biggest pet peeve. All of your videos, all of them, you must disable resample. If you do not disable resample, you will get like a ghosting type effect and it annoys the hell out of me when I see videos like that. I'm like, please go and disable your resample, please, I beg of you. But here's how to do that. Here's how to do that. It's very simple, very easy, very quick. Um, you right click on the video, go to switches. This little menu is going to pop up, disable resample. It is simple as that. Now. Um, hit play now you see the ghosting effect is gone it's nice it's smooth and it's clear you don't have to do any of it, it, it looks beautiful it, it's a beautiful picture so we're gonna stop that um, now for the last part of this tutorial we're going to add in the transition from the intro into the actual video um, so what you want to do is you want to click on transition now I usually use flashes um, you can use pretty much anything so let's go to a slide so let's say I'm gonna slide in from the bottom up so what I'll do is I'll drag this and I'll put it right on the very edge of the video to where you see the plus sign up underneath your mouse cursor so and then unclick and that little thing's gonna pop up pretty much it, you can adjust the angle or anything like that, but they're already set up to where to to how you want them to slide in so That's fine. You don't have to touch that you just exit that out and then I'll play it from midway And now you see it slide up That's pretty much it <laughs> so um, But what I use is there's there's a, a, a bunch of different type of you know transitions to go in it just adds a little bit of spark to your um, to your videos and I mean you can add it from the jump you don't need an intro to transition into um, you can just add it right from the get-go and it still looks it looks professional it looks cool it's 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 not a bad thing to do so I'm gonna add my flash intro and I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how that it's just it's the same concept just slide it onto the edge of the video and boom there's the slot there's the flash so it's that's that's pretty much it um I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today it's just a basic tutorial on how to um, get your um, video started um, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to show you guys how to render today. I will, I will, I will put that in a different video, probably um, the next one. Um, so if you don't already, download 
um, any type any Photoshop Photoshop 2.0 I do believe is free on the Adobe website so if you can download Photoshop and we will be ready for that on the next um, the next episode so on the next episode I'm going to show you guys how to render I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to render a little bit faster if you are using your video card um, and I will show you how to use animated uh, GIF files GIF GIF however you say it everybody says it a lot but um, I will show you how to use those files um, I think that's it so like I said you will need Photoshop and you will need Sony Vegas and I will show you how to put the animated GIFs into your um, videos and resize them and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna get a little bit technical on the next episode so stay tuned um, and all that good shit um, I'm hoping these videos, you guys have been amazing on the support on these videos. I just want to tell you guys, you guys have been amazing supporting the video, supporting the series. It is um, a really good series that I really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy the series. So um, I'm going to keep going as long as I can go. I love teaching you guys, like I said. I love um, you know sharing my knowledge with you guys so you guys can make better quality videos and hopefully... Um, you know start get a following start a, a a nice nice little YouTube channel for yourself so that is really the goal of this series so you guys can jump into this stuff and have just as much as fun as we do um, with you know this whole YouTube editing all that kind of stuff so anyway I'm rambling on um, like I say be ready for the next episode you will need Photoshop and you will need Sony Vegas um, it has been your boy the Mikey J in the motherfucking place to be and as always guys peace, peace.